Our database is currently empty and we want to populate it with data. So to do that, let's create a seeding script. So inside the Prisma directory, create a new file, call it seed.ts. The first thing we need to do is import Prisma client. Then we want to create a new client. So let's do const Prisma equals new Prisma client. And we also want to import the static data that we have so that we can include it in our seed script. So let's import links from the data folder. So these links is just uh, an array of objects where each object, uh, where each object contains data for a link. So a link will have a category, a description, an ID, uh, an image URL, a title, and a URL. Now we need to create a async function. Let's call it main. And inside this function, we'll write our Prisma queries. So first we want to create a user. So let's write await Prisma dot user. So this model comes from our schema.prisma and actually we can see if you do control space, you can see uh, the autocomplete. So we have our link model and our user model. So let's do prisma.user.create. And inside this create function, we pass in an object. If we hit control space, we can see what type of data we want to pass. So we want to pass an email because that's required. And we, I will just say test email at gmail.com. And this is the um, only data we need when creating a new user. Now, say for example, we add a field that isn't included in our schema.prisma file. What will happen is that it will complain. So if we say age, for example, 23, and we hover over it, we'll see that type is not assignable to the type um, without user create input. This type comes from Prisma client. So this is auto-generated from the Prisma schema. Uh, so this is great because now it's less likely that you'll make errors when writing Prisma queries or like when you're sending queries to your database. Let's also add a role and make an admin so that our life is easier when working with uh, authorization. We will have an existing user who's an admin. Now the reason, um, so like the reason we did not get an error uh, because we have a default value for the role and its user. So right now we, we will create a new user. We want to add links. So let's write await prisma.link.createMany. And if we hover over it, we can actually see what create many does. So creates many links. And we actually see an example. So what we need to do is have an object, an object called data, and provide the data here. So we can just say data and then say links. Uh, because we'll be creating, so we're basically just passing the links array, and this way we will create, like, um, like we will create links in our database when seeding. So now what we need to do is call this main function and add some error handling. So what we're doing is, in case there are any errors, we'll just log this error and exit the process, and then finally uh, we're just calling Prisma disconnect, um, which just uh, allow us to stop Prisma's query engine. Now, since we're working inside a Next.js project, Next.js forces the use of ESNext modules. And if we actually try to run the C script, we'll get an error. So if we say mpx prisma db seed, now this is a preview feature, so we'll need to add the uh, dash dash preview feature flag. So dash dash preview dash feature. And if we try to run it, it says running seed and we get an error. So to fix that, we need to install TS node. So let's do that. npm install TS node dash D. Let's just fix that. So now in our package.json file, we need to specify that we want to use common JS modules. So we'll just add in the scripts uh, TS node and what happens is we say ts node dash dash compiler options, the module is common JS. So now if we try to run the C script, it should work. As you can see, it says the compiler options are common JS. 
and your database has been seeded. 